You are watching Official VGO Videos. Bethesda Game Studios. Bethesda or some whatever. Hello gamers, it's the Meat Geek again, uh, owner of Official VGO Videos, playing uh, um, for um, AsafinNetwork.com, and I'm going to be playing some Skyrim. I've been I'm continuing where I left off. I'm hoping this will be a better quality video with a better quality webcam video and sound and everything. I'm experimenting with different technology, Vivitar and uh, Fraps combination of different software as well. Um, using a software called uh, Wax 2.0, hopefully this will work well, right? So let's continue our adventure with my lizard man, uh, Tyrion. Uh, he's a member of the Imper Imperial Guard, so I think. At least he's starting to, so he's going to be fighting dragons and various bad guys. So let's continue where I left off. Kind Earth is the goddess of the air, wind, and sky. Okay. Let's see if I can talk to some people here. Sigrid, I hope that dragon company. isn't still flying around there somewhere. How do I join the Imperial Legion? General Tullius has his headquarters in Castle Dower, in the city of Solitude, northwest of here. You'll want to talk to Legate Ricca. She deals with the new recruits. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you if I get back to Solitude first. That's a good advice. Who are the Stormcloaks? You haven't heard of the Civil War in Skyrim? I guess down in Cyrodiil, people have other things to worry about. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago, as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. He's always used the ban on the worship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. He never succeeded in getting much support, so a few months ago he murdered the High King. He murdered. That got the I like how he says attention. that. Murdered. All right. Uh, who are the other prisoners? You didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. He's a traitor of some right. kind. The leader of the Stormcloaks. They claim to be fighting for Skyrim's freedom, but the war is really all about Ulfric wanting to be High King of Skyrim. How did you capture Ulfric? A masterstroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months, but he's turned things around for the Empire. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started, but he always seemed to slip through our fingers, like he knew we were coming. This time, the General turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right into our ambush with only a few bodyguards. He surrendered pretty meekly, too. So much for his death or glory reputation. Mm -hmm. I thought we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrodiil, but I guess the general changed his mind. You know the rest. I thought dragons were all dead long ago. So did I. If the damn Stormcloak somehow found one, or woke it up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. Hard to believe it was just a coincidence that the first dragon anyone's seen for centuries attacks just as Ulfric was about to be executed. Why is the worship of Talos banned? Hmm. I guess that wasn't such a big deal elsewhere in the Empire, but here it's caused a lot of resentment. Native son and all that. Even I'll admit it hasn't been the Empire's finest hour. But it wasn't like the Emperor had any choice, did he? If he hadn't signed the peace treaty with the Thalmor, they would have destroyed the Empire. Then where would Skyrim be? That's the part that Ulfric supporters always conveniently forget about. Unless the Empire stands together, the Thalmor would destroy us all. Okay, uh, let's move on here. Good luck. Good luck. If you get a chance, look me up in solitude. Oh, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Let's go have something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to this start. Lizard man. You know I was assigned to General Tullius's guard. We were stopped in Helgen. 
when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. Let's take some bread, carrot, cheese wedge, garnet. Let's take honeydew mead. Uh, iron ignit. Lockpick, Ocean of Minor Healing, a red apple, and a minor striking, tomato, and exit. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me. Be in your debt. Do whatever I can. Do you have any supplies I could take? Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need, within reason. Carrot. Okay, I already took that already. How do I get the white one off from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run. Just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. What can he tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgraf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. Which side in the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. You support the Empire then? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Who is Elisif? Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the wow. stories. That's what started this whole Shouted war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. What can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. What do you think about the war? People are rightly stirred up about the damn Talmor being allowed to roam around arresting people just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. What, what are Thorm Talmor allowed? Why are the Thalmor allowed to arrest people? worshipping Talos. It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Talmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. 
Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. And sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down. Dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Okay. Moving on. Mm-hmm. Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Hush, child. Don't well, pester your cousin. Don't mind me, though. You two make yourselves at home. Take a cabbage. I think a loaf of bread here. something to eat. Some carrot, have some have some wine. Red apple. Cheese wedge. Berries. Little girl. Did you really see a yes, dragon? Little girl. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers, <laughs> but you seem all right. She's not scared of a lizard, man. <laughs> There's a couple gold iron dagger. I don't think I don't think the weapon for him. There's the chest. No, I don't, I don't want to take their gold. Let's have a little sleep. Rest how long? Morning does. 110 a.m. One day, yes. Hope there's no dragons attacking. <coughs> Awaken feeling rested. Okay, gamers, uh, take a little break here. Save my progress, and um, I'm gonna continue my adventures another day. Thanks for liking, favoriting, and commenting below this video. Uh, if you want a free YouTube shout out every week, all you have to do is uh, subscribe to Official Video Videos and uh, let me know through a comment that you want a free shout out. Um, check out the Meek Geek Video Game blog, www.videogamersvoices.com/blog. And um, the video group is always on Facebook. Like it and favorite and subscribe. Uh, leave comments below on the uh, blog and on the Facebook fan page. Follow me on Twitter. Video underscore tweets. And check out the links below this video. There's many more interesting stuff below. This is the Meat Geek signing out till later. Thanks for watching.